my channel today i'm gonna be making some black cake i'm gonna make one and a half pound of black cake all right this is six sticks of butter i'll have half stick of lard um one pound of sugar because i don't want it too sweet because remember the fruit that i'm gonna be using I already have some it's sweet in it along with the wine i'm not gonna use in um more liquor because this fruits are already soaked with liquor so i'm gonna add some wine along with the liquor all right stay tuned so i have the mixed essence um the clove powder cinnamon powder nutmeg powder this is the orange we're going to grate in forget the zest one cup of flour i have eggs here oh my gosh but everything is so small eggs and the wine along with the uh, the fruits now this is three pounds of four pounds of fruits here I'm not gonna use all I'm gonna just use two pounds all right I'm gonna take out some stay tuned this fruit here are already mixed with the liquor and it cured it's been for for months curing all right it have everything inside all it needs is the egg and the flour and mix it up. The flour that we're using, what we'll be using is our purpose. I'm sorry, self-raising flour. Alright? So you don't have to use any baking powder. So I'm going to start by combining the flour, I mean the sugar with the butter. Alright? I'm gonna start by cracking one egg at a time. Do this until I finish clapping.
I'm going to grid the zest. This, this, that's it. It's for the, the rank from the egg. You're going to get about like a tea, tablespoon. That is this. Remember, you always got to grate, wash this thoroughly before you could grate it. Okay, about a tablespoon of the cinnamon powder each. Stay tuned. Tablespoon of the cinnamon. Clove. A spoon, nutmeg, tablespoon, mix essence, one and a half pack full. gonna mix it up again I'm gonna blend it over together together So I'm going to add the, the butter and the egg and everything into the, the fruits. In the meantime, I'm going to put the oven. So start to heat in the meanwhile I'm 
mixing this um, flour. As I tell you guys before, this um, I'm uh, ready to check out some of the um, fruits. I'm going to sift the self-raising flour. I'm going to sift it. You don't want no lump. And I'm gonna put some bun sugar that I already have one side into this. I'm going to add some um, the bun sugar you don't want to add too much for it get bitter uh, this is a man that's make it get bitter this is only for give it the dark color I'll get some more. I want it a little darker. Hmm. Now, what I'm gonna do? I can use some whole fruits, not the blended one, and I'm gonna cut it up. I want some big pieces of fruits inside of this cake. Watch, watch it this. All right? You see it stick up? There too. So now I'm gonna use all of these dry fruits. I'm gonna mix it into this cake. This is this is a twist. Alright? Nobody don't do this. I doing this now. So I wanted to taste the chunk of fruits into this black in this to this cake. Alright? Let's taste it. 
When I'm biting into this cake, I'm just biting the fruits. I'm going to start by placing this in the pan. All right? When I finish doing all, I'm going to let you, I'm going to come right back. All right? Stay tuned. So now I'm going to put this in the oven for one hour. All right? I will be back. Stay tuned. So now I take out the take out the oven. I'm going to test it. And you can see nothing is coming out. So this is done. But what I'm going to do now is punching it all over around. And then I'm gonna pour some wine, not rum, wine. That not everybody use liquor on it. Stay tuned. I'm gonna show you guys the the white wine, the cream. But this is the red one. So I'm gonna pour a little bit. Only ask one question after Matt died. Did he have passion? Right. How do I look? Like a jackass. Let's soak in. Does it look, it look like when it's finished? 